Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about sebaceous gland carcinoma. Sebaceous gland carcinoma is a malignant dead tumor that arises from mavobian glands or occasionally glands of disease. It is an aggressive tumor and it carries a significant mortality rate. It is commoner in upper lid as you can see in this picture and it may also develop in caruncle. Coming to the risk factors for sebaceous gland carcinoma, increasing age, females, and Muratori syndrome are all risk factors for sebaceous gland carcinoma. In Muratori syndrome, there will be sebaceous neoplasia and visceral carcinoma. This picture shows a case of Muratori syndrome. Coming to the clinical features of sebaceous gland carcinoma, there are two types of sebaceous gland carcinoma. They are nodular type and spreading type. In nodular type, there will be a firm nodule resembling a calaisian as you can see in this picture. This is the reason why we have to biopsy cases of recurrent calaisian. In spreading type, there will be diffuse infiltration which may involve the conjunctiva as you can see in this picture and it resembles chronic blepharoconjunctivitis. There will also be loss of lashes. Coming to the treatment of sebaceous gland carcinoma, we have to do mapping biopsies of conjunctiva to assess the extent of tumor. This is because of the risk of pachetoid spread. We have to do full thickness lid biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. There is risk of cytoplasmic lipid vascularization during histology. So we have to warn the histopathologist and send fresh tissue to assist with fat stain. Wide local excision with lid reconstruction is the treatment of choice. However, it is difficult due to pagetoid and multicentric spread. We have to do regional lymph node clearance and excentration depending on the tumor extent. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.